Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Joyce or Joyce Kainas Canada on Canada Immigration. Guys, I'm stepping out and I thought um, today in the morning I released a video on um, my frustrations while I'm doing Canada Immigration content and how I was feeling like I want to give up. I really struggled to post that video. Then I was like, what if I don't post? Will people know what I go through? Then I was like, finally, I posted it. And after one hour, I've read a lot of comments and I feel so happy that a lot of you people are encouraging me to continue, not to give up. Like I should not be listening to those naysayers. And that has made me come back. So this video is a comeback. Um, yeah, I'll come back to my vision. I'll come back to my calling uh, to help people to immigrate to Canada. Yeah. And this is the beginning. You, you'll see a lot of encouragement. You'll see a lot of posts on Canada immigration. And yeah, it's not easy, but we'll do it no matter what. So I've posted a very nice video on, um, on the Facebook. Uh, yeah, so about immigration and a summary of how you can come to Canada. Because I know there's a lot of people who have um, joined me um, not long ago and maybe you do not know how you can come to Canada, uh, this video is yours. This video is yours. If you're new, you have just joined uh, this, this team of Joyce Kainas Canada. You do not know how to come to Canada. There are many ways of coming to Canada. The easiest and the simplest is to come as a visitor. And as a visitor, when I say a visitor visa, you do not need an invitation. Because when I talk about that, a lot of people come and inbox me and ask, Joyce, please send me an invitation. You do not need necessarily. Well, uh, for if, if you use an invitation, you have got, of course, stronger grounds of making the embassy believe that at least you have a home, you have somebody, you have an address, so you'll not end up in the streets. Because one of the goals of the immigration um, officer is to make sure that you'll not become a beggar on the streets of Canada. So when you have an address, it adds you advantage. But again, if you do not have, you still can come to Canada through other ways like conferences and ETC. That is the easiest pathway. And I normally say, if you need help on that, you can always send me an email on joycecanada3 at gmail.com. Other ways, professionals, skilled immigrants, please make sure you join the express entry. If you're following me and you're not on the express entry, then you're not following me. You'd rather not follow me. Because following me means that you're following me while you are inside the express entry waiting to be selected. Because Canada um, immigration for skilled immigrant is based on merit. Okay? It's, it's not like the U.S. green card lottery whereby they select you just randomly like that. Canada is it's going to be based on merit. It's going to be based on how many points do you have for you to be selected from the, from the pool. And this is what I want you guys to do. This video is going to be on my YouTube. I have done another one on my Facebook. Make sure you also follow me on my Facebook. I want you guys to do two things. Do them for me. Make sure you do your language proficiency. A must. If you're following me and you have not done language proficiency, either English or French or both. If you can do both, the better. But if majority of you, I know you, you can manage to do English. Do the general one. For, immig for immigration purposes, do the general one. Make sure you score the highest, the highest you can. Minimum is 6.5, CLB of 6.5, but if you score the highest, the better. I know you're going to find on Canadian immigration website, you'll find them talking about CLB. Do not worry. CLB is not a, a, another extra exam that you have to write. It is the same IELTS that you convert to CLB. So you just go on Google and type, what is my 6.5 IELTS CLB of that? Then you, it is going to convert for you automatically. And then the minimum you, you need to get is 6.5 CLB. That is language proficiency. The other thing that I want you guys to do for me is uh, you have your education verified. You must. If you're following me and you have not had your credentials verified, then you, we are not together. Make sure that you send your documents to West World Evolution Service. I'm going to, to do another video on how to send documents and all that. This is a beginning of a new, of a new um, journey. Again, we are going to start immigration again. And I want you guys to send your documents to West. 
Ask your college to send your documents to West. Let West verify you. But this can happen in two to three weeks. I know West has been having challenges to verify, but before, or normally, they normally verify within two to three weeks. Of course, there is a fee attached to that. You can pay them. You can also pay your institution to send your documents. Do not send these documents yourself to West, because if they, they realize that you are involved in sending these documents, then they become unofficial. They become unofficial, and then you cannot, they cannot be recognized. Let the school send directly. Some places like in Kenya, if I go to my school where I trained, the school will tell me, Joyce, pay us a, a certain fee so that we can send these documents for you through DHL. Okay? Which, I, which is okay. That one you can do it. Of course, immigration is expensive, guys. Then once you do those two things, have your education verified and also do your language proficiency, remain in the pool and then keep following me. Also join all the PNP uh, platforms. PNP programs, all of them. 11 provinces, make sure you join all of them, okay? Then keep following my content, other bloggers' content as you research more. As you wait on the pool, waiting on the pool is up to one year and it's free. So if you wait for one year and they don't select you, then it means, it means that next year you have to, look at this flower, next year you have to, to join again the, the pool. Okay, because you have you can only remain in the pool for one year. So next year, if you if they don't select you after one year from the date when you joined, then next year you still have to join again. Okay, if you are lucky, especially the careers that are in demand, you can check the list of the careers that are in demand. If you are lucky to be selected, then you will you will start now your processing. After you get selected, you must have proof of fund. Okay, either proof of fund or a job offer. If you have a job offer, it shows the Canada immigration that you, you are not a burden, you're not going to become a burden to them. This job will be sustaining you and your family while you're in Canada, so you don't need to prove that you have fund. But again, if you do not have a job, then you must have proof of fund. Proof of fund is based on the number of family members that you want to bring. This program that I'm talking about is for helping you to bring your whole family, your entire family. Look at that flower, guys. So beautiful. Let me take this thumbnail like that. Oh my God. So beautiful. Yeah. So guys, you understand? Make sure you are in the pool. Make sure you join the pool for express entry. If you want to follow me, if you're following me, let's join the, the, the pool. And then from here tomorrow, I can record another video for PNP. And I'm still in Kenya. That's why you're finding these beautiful flowers. I'm still here in Kenya. Beautiful flowers. Wow, beautiful. Make sure you, you do those things. And then tomorrow, I'll post another video on PNP. And whatever else you want to, me to do a video on, type it on the comments of this video. I love you guys. And I'm not going to get discouraged again. Thank you so much for encouraging me. I love you. We are back. See you.